Hello Pirates, welcome to a new series I'm starting today about how to build rival conqueror halls. We now have the complete family of five rivals uh, and there are some things, do's and don'ts and uh, some suggested fleets that you can benefit from if you want to hit bases and uh, and you're a bit lost on, on what you build. So I'm going to give you some options here. I hope you find that useful. And uh, I, that's just part one. I mean, I intend to release one new video a week with different combos. Um, things that are working for me mostly. Um, but also some things maybe that are not even tested. Just as suggestions. We'll see. But this one, I'm going to start with a tried and true build of mine. Okay, so I'm going to start with some general principles for you. First of all, whenever you're building rivals, the one thing you should never, ever, ever do is build five of the same ship. So a fleet of five liberators may succeed and, and may do great on a very single specific scenario. But overall, that fleet's gonna suck against most scenarios, most combos, because it's easy to counter a fleet of all liberators, right? Or you build a fleet of all survivors, same thing. I mean, they have only one or two things they excel at, for instance, uh, penetrative deflection. But you throw some radioactive, you throw some explosive in the mix, and, and, and the fleet of survivors is immediately dead. Okay, so my suggestion is for each rival, build at most three of them. I mean, in many cases, I build only one of them because I use as a support ship. Okay, but no more than three. Uh, and then combine them as needed. Ideally, you gotta know your target, so you gotta have a chance to scout your target, see what you're gonna be up against, and then you decide on the combo. Okay. Uh, if you have a hard time driving that kind of fleet where one ship's just support is just there for the bonuses and should stay in the corner, I strongly suggest you go on the Forsaken Council website, uh, forsakencouncil.co.uk, get the macros. Uh, TSM has set up links to download Auto Hotkey and uh, a few macros that work, like for instance, one where ship one stays in the corner the other one or ship two stays in the corner you know there's plenty of options in there set up the macro so you can have an easier time driving instead of struggling with up arrow down arrow left arrow and, and. so here's my first example and and that's a, a fleet i use and in most circumstances works really well okay so this fleet has three liberators one survivor one oppressor the survivor and the oppressor actually can be just shells. Okay, yeah, it helps if they have the weapons. I mean, if you got the six day build token, why not, right? Put mortars in the oppressor, put the right specials. I mean, put some cannons in the survivor. I recommend putting a couple gales in the survivor too. Um, but anyways, they are there for the bonuses. So I want to walk you through this. So the Liberators are very strong, pretty much immune to explosive damage. They have 80,000 explosive deflection. And they have 9,000 concussive deflection, but that's it. They're weak against ballistic, they're weak against penetrating, they're weak against corrosive, radioactive. Okay, they're only good against two things. All right. Then, as you build Bloodthirst, and all these three ships, they share the same rivals Bloodthirst, so they're going to build up together, right? Then the Liberators, they will gain up to 4,000 Corrosive Deflection and up to 4,000 Penetrative Deflection. The most important is it gains a crap load of Penetrating Damage, it gains Field Resistance and it gains a crap load of Reload for their missile. So once the, the blue bar is full yellow, this guy is a beast and three of them are, oh my god, are just crazy in damage, right? But the thing is, how do we improve the Liberator? So you put a Survivor in the fleet and now you're gaining because it has two bonuses. One of them, one special ability is it gives 1500 Corrosive Deflection to all Conquerors. It also gives 2000 Explosive Deflection, but for the Liberator you really don't care about that extra 2000. Okay? Then it has another Aura uh, 
and that one gives 21,000 penetrative deflection to a ship that has nothing to start with and may gain up to 4,000. Now it starts with 21,000, right? Then the other thing you do, the Liberator is weak against ballistic, it has zero ballistic deflection, so you put an oppressor in the fleet and the rival aura will give 3,500 off the bat. So now, the final result is your Liberators will have 82,000 explosive deflection between 21 at start up to 25,000 penetrative deflection at full blood thirst. It will start with 3,500 ballistic deflection. It has the same 9,000 concussive from the beginning, nothing changed that. Uh, and corrosive starts now at 1,500 because of the bonus from the survivor and it can go up to 5.5 thousand as you build up blood thirst. So in the end the only weakness now is radioactive and that you can easily counter with radioactive plates and you're gonna have an all-around very strong fleet, right? I mean is it gonna win against every base? No, it won't because if you go against a base that has a lot of let's say emancipators with the right fire support and buffs 3,500 ballistics not enough. You're still gonna get your ass handed off to you, right? But if you're just gonna go, if you're just going up against some uh, blunderbusses, that's enough in most cases. Okay. So all of a sudden you get a fleet that has a lot of weak spots, and you make it a very well-rounded fleet by combining them this way: three, one, one. These guys don't really care about the build. Let's talk about how you build the liberators. So here's a suggestion, okay? And I know people in different alliances have better builds. Uh, I've seen better builds, but this is a good vanilla build for you, okay? So put talents. If you got the talents in the past couple raids, put talents on. They're massive damage. If you don't, use the Scoria. Second best option. Third option would be blades or switch blades, but then it's getting weak. I wouldn't go there. Uh, I actually had uh, my first Liberator with Switchblades, didn't work so well. Uh, armor, like we saw before, all you need are red 4 plates, I mean put a couple of them and now you're up to 10,000 uh, radioactive deflection. Okay, then you can put a war plate or a pan plate if you feel like, you don't really need that one. Okay, if or when Kixai releases a ballistic plate, I will definitely put a ballistic plate in there. For the time being, war plate and two red plates, that's what I'm going with. Basic special, speed system 5, siege battery 3, agility system 3 or 4. I like them and they help overall. Can never have too much of it. Uh, the other special, so I'm using for range advanced guidance system. Uh, you could use guided missile system or you could go get creative and try that special that came out with the Gluttony the amphibious missile system. Okay, that's an option too, but I mean any three of them will do well Then I went with carbon fiber casing. It's a brand new special. You may not have it if you don't don't worry Go with strike warheads or interception system all three options will give you good damage bonuses um, for extra building damage, high velocity rounds, okay, or siege targeting three. The HVR has the benefit of extra projectile speed that helps, okay, but you get extra building damage in all cases, okay. And maybe you want to have one of the three liberators with some countermeasures. I have one of mine with, with flanks. Um, and then I have one countermeasure special on that ship, okay, instead of the HVR. Um, but that's it, I mean, that's a simple build, three of them, I mean, put some flanks or, you know, you don't need gales with 80,000 uh, explosive deflection. And that's it, I uh, hope you enjoy, uh, that's one fleet, I mean, stay tuned for more, subscribe to my channel if you want to get a notification when the next video comes out. Okay, uh, leave comments if you'd like to see a particular build. I'm, I'm, I'm still working on the Inquisitor, still working on the Incinerator, the newer, uh, newer hulls, but I'm going to release uh, another one in a week or so. Okay, take care, stay frosty pirates.